Yo, what is up everyone, Bloodscaming here today, and today we're going to be going over the Project Flight Tracker again. Now, as many of you guys know, I've been here before, and uh, you guys have loved the other video on it, but you guys do have a lot of questions regarding it. So, today this video is mostly going to be going over a lot of you guys' questions and new features uh, regarding the Project Flight Tracker and the Dev Tracker, which is a new thing here. Which I will also have the this uh the link to down in the description below. First, we are on the developer site, so let's actually go to this second one over here, which is still the developer site. Um, but we're gonna go to the main site on this one. This one will be the developer site, so we'll continue here. I'm gonna go over the main one first, as this is the one that pretty much everyone uses and is gonna be more familiar with. So why not go over this? So let's say I log out. This is one of the main ones, so let's say I log out here real quick. And, uh, if I wanted to log into, uh, you know, create my own flight path or something, because let's say this is me, uh, oh wow, I've never seen one of these, like, flying. But yeah, you scroll down, is this you? Log in. Let's say this was me. So, I don't actually have a thing up, but if I was to log in, you guys would, if you need to sign up here, you would actually need to go join um, the Roblox game or the Discord. Now, the not the... Actually, yes, you do have to join the Discord server. Now, if I come down here, we have the Discord server here. And um, this is what you would need to join to get access to the tracker here. So, if I was to do this, or you could put your email address, password, that stuff. Uh, but if I was to do this, um, this would be to create an account, so essentially, you have to get, okay, it kind of already did it for me, because I already, <laughs> yeah. But, essentially, you might have to go join the Roblox game. Now, with the Roblox game, uh, I don't exactly remember how that works. Um, I might join it, and I'll have a little thing about how it works up on screen. But last time I joined it, uh, I checked, uh, or last time I joined it was when I had to verify the email. For that, it sometimes does take uh, maybe like five-ish minutes for it to load. Uh, I'm going to assume it takes about five minutes now because there's more people. Uh, and has to kind of go through a whole bunch of emails, this and that. Um, so wait maybe about five minutes if that doesn't work join or leave rejoin and if it still doesn't work then try the discord server which again i'll have this down below um again i'm not exactly sure if you have to go through the game anymore or if you can actually just do it through the discord server but yes you do have to be in the discord server i'll have the link to this uh down in the description below uh this is also where updates to the project flight tracker are posted and uh, other things. So, another question that I've been asked is, how do you post the pictures of aircraft? So, uh, if I was to go find the Fokker again. Um, I don't know if I can get pictures of planes. Let's see for them to load up. Uh, they're not wanting to load up right now. But if I was to get a plane that would get a picture, there we go. Alright, so you guys see how you have a picture here. A lot of people were like, okay, how how do I get a picture of a plane? Like, what what do I do? How do I, like, upload one to here? Kind of like, you know, you want to do it like Flight Radar. In order for... You can't do that anymore. It was a contest maybe a month or two-ish ago. And uh, you can no longer do that anymore. So because of that, uh, the images that are on there are the images you get. So you have no other images to use. Uh, and you can't upload them. So unless there is another contest done, you won't be able to upload images like this uh, to the Project Flight Tracker. So that is that. Now, if we come over to the experimental one here, this one is different. Uh, you cannot just go to your server. And uh, I'm not actually also sure what this does. This is something that I'm kind of unfamiliar with. I can go check out, see what it does over here. Uh, I think I might need to actually be in a server for it to work, because I can't even click my server, uh, because I'm not in one. So, you can also, 
filter through Roblox uh, for the search. You can do Roblox username, call sign, server ID, airframe. So if I wanted to go like that, we might be able to find some, maybe, hold up, 737. There we go. Okay. Without the B, uh, you have some people who are flying 737s here. So if we, yeah, look at that. 737, uh, another 737, and uh, another 737. This one actually has a flight plan. So this is the next thing, flight plans. Now, you guys may be wondering, how do I do a flight plan? Now, there are, one, there are two ways you can really do this. Um, this guy seems to have done it the way where it's auto-generate. So if I was to come into uh, Roblox here, let me go load up uh, in Project Flight. All right, so I'm now in Project Flight as American 4871, and let's say I wanted to make a flight plan to go somewhere. So first off, I'm gonna head over to my plane if I wanna do it this way, or I could just click this globe here, and you can set your flight route. So right now I'm at uh, Kitla, so EFKT, and let's say I just want to go uh, to uh, Cibao. So that'd be MDST to MDST. So this is your starting airport. Uh, I'm starting at Kitla, so that will be always where you take off from. And then this side will always be where you land at, where you plan on landing. Now, for the alternate. What I usually do for the alternate airport is I find the airport that is closest to it, and I'm like, oh, and that's big enough for the type of plane I'm flying. So, if I was to go to Cibao, the next best option would be uh, MDPC or um, Punta Cana. So then I'd select MDPC, and now my alternate would be there. Or if I was maybe going to somewhere like Menorca, the next biggest airport that's close enough, uh, if I was coming in from this way, would really be. Uh, Men not Menorca, uh, Grand Canaria. But if I was more of coming in from this way, maybe it'd be Gatwick. But still, you'd want to find the closest airport that makes more logical sense if you're trying to be really realistic here. Now, as for the flight plan, you got really two ways to do this. You can come into here and make your own flight plan. Now, if I want to go over to, um, over there, I want to, let's say, take off over to here. So I'd put... K I T T L, then comma, think comma. Nope. Okay. K T T L. Oh, K I T T L. K R. How do they expect me to? K R D S H. Yeah, it's weird how they do it because they. I think. Yeah, when you do spaces, it doesn't. Okay, I lied. I guess it does work with spaces sometimes. And we're going to go rows. Okay. I don't know why it didn't work for the first one, but there we go. I got it to work. So maybe you got to put two points in. And then we're going to space again. Minty. Then we're going to go to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, Lunic. There we go. And so on and so forth until you get down to the side of the runway that you want to land at. So let's say I want to land at, uh, I think it's this side that you're supposed to land. Yeah, you're supposed to land at this side. Uh, so let's say I want to land over here. I come out maybe over to here, over to here, over to here, over to here, and then into one of these two runways. And then for takeoff, if I wanted to go somewhere else, uh, here, here, you know, kind of wherever. Or you can do auto-generate flight route. So this, I think you would need to get rid of everything, and I don't know if it'll work now because I've already kind of started putting stuff in. So let's, yeah, it won't really work now, but uh, it does, let me select a plane first. Maybe, maybe if I select a different plane, it'll let me, uh, oh, I saw my plane for a second. There we go, okay. Uh, here we go. Nope, that is... Not what I wanted, okay. I'm trying to get to my plane. Let me get to my plane. Okay, there we go. Now we're at my plane. So, as we can see now, EFKT, MDST, uh, my current altitude, my current speed and knots, my current heading, IFR, alternate MDPC, uh, speed 365, uh, and of course that I can change too. 
Uh, let's see if I can auto generate. It won't auto generate now. But uh, if you don't, I th I think if you don't type anything in, it should work. It's not working right now. Uh, that is, I would say, a bug. But yeah. Um, for this, type in the altitude you want, or if you're unsure of an altitude, don't put it at all. N A N. Same thing with speed. Uh, you can do any speed. Uh, or N A N. Uh, I F. And then for here, you have I F R or V F R. Uh. I think IFR is instrument flight rules or something like that, and VFR is visual flight rules. Uh, so yeah, that's essentially how you get this to work. Um, and you can check over here, you can clear flight plan, clear plane trail, which if you're wondering what that is, that would be uh, essentially like, if I was to go take off, uh, let me just go find a plane that has a plane trail here. Should be any plane that's in the sky. Yes, yeah, so there you go. So see, that's the plane trail. So you can see where he came off, uh, took off from, and if you really zoom in, you can also see where he was parked at. So he was parked there, pushed back, uh, went all the way over to the other end of the runway over here before taking off and heading out over here. And uh, it's an Air Canada 777. So he doesn't have any flight rolls, anything like that. He doesn't use Project Flight Tracker. Uh, some people, like I saw one a little bit earlier, um, do, and you can get stuff from there. Uh, but if you were to click the clear plane trail, uh, I think this would only really work on your plane. Uh, essentially, this line would be gone. Um, so yeah, you, you kind of get what I mean. So that is how that works. Um, for my server, if you click that, it just shows you the planes that are in your server and only the planes in your server, no other planes. So you can click and check on the planes that are in your server and where they came from, where they're going, um, especially if you're in maybe a more uh, roleplay-like server. So yeah, um, that's that. As for public ATC server, I'm not quite sure what that means. Oh, yes, that's the other thing. When you land a plane, it does show you where you landed, what runway, and then uh, your landing. Now, sometimes it will glitch and it'll say you landed like uh, I think I got five times when I only landed once. And that is be uh, that is probably because your plane bounced a little bit on landing. So it's kind of like, okay, wait, is it this, this, what? Um, what the game gave you is more accurate. This thing is accurate most of the time, but not 100% accurate. So I would say trust the game more. Um, if you're tracking a friend, trust the game more. Um, just, you know, just saying. But yeah, that's how that works. Um, I'm not quite sure what the public ATC server is. Uh, I don't know how it really works. I think if there's an ATC, it might tell you where it is. I'm not quite sure how that works. Uh, I don't think there's an ATC in my server as of now. There is not, but let's... Um, but that might be something uh, to check out. You guys can experiment with that, see, see how it works. Um, but yeah, that's essentially it for the Project Flight Tracker. Uh, you do have settings. You can go check out your account. I guess you can't. Um, your profile, enable debug, log out. Um, I'm not quite sure what happens when you go to profile here. Um, it kind of just lagged and hasn't started working from there. Uh, you can also share uh, other people's links. Uh, so you can end up on the most tracked for board, which... There is a uh, most tracked board, which is pretty cool. Uh, you got this flight, which has got, I think, two or three people it said tracking it. Yeah, two people. Another two people, another two people. So yeah, it also tells you the type of plane uh, there, and this is live too. So yeah, that is pretty much generally it about the Project Flight Tracker. Um, if you guys do have any more questions, then let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to get back to them as quick as I can. I hope this video did help you guys out a little bit more with the Project Flight Tracker. Um, again, if you guys still do have any questions, you guys can let me know, and I'll try to answer them. But uh, yeah, I think that is going to be all for today's video. So if you, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, or if this video did help you out, then please leave a like and subscribe, as it does help me out. And then don't forget to join my Discord down below, so you know when I post new videos like this one. But with that, everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.